Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about the PSE 545 source extractor on the Behringer wing. And in combination with the auto mixer, this thing is killer on any set of Q&A, panel interviews, anything like that. So, Let's go ahead and dive in and check this out. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, I showed you in last week's video how to get the auto mixer working on the Behringer wing and that it has 16 channels of auto mixer that's available to us on any of the 40 channels on this board. And on the X32, it was only eight channels. But the Behringer wing has 16 and we can select anywhere from channel one through channel 40 on the auto mixer, up to 16 channels. Now that is incredible. The other thing that the Behringer wing allows us to do is load effect emulations into the channels on the gate, the EQ, and the dynamics. Now on the gate side, there is one of my favorite gate emulations in there and I'm gonna be talking about it today. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I have it pulled up right here. It is the PSE 545 source extractor. Now this thing is actually pretty incredible because it is so simple. There's two knobs and two buttons and that's it. So for really teaching someone how to get a gate working, this is a great tool to use because there's literally two knobs and then a couple options. So this thing is great. There's a threshold knob, which goes from positive 12 all the way down to negative 36. And then we have our depth knob. So our threshold is where is this gate going to open and close? And when we're setting that, and I'll show you how to set that here in a few minutes, when we're setting this, we wanna get that to where when the speaker is not talking, the gate closes. And then when they start talking again, it opens. But we don't want it to be cutting off words, which is really important. So you don't want to get your gate set too aggressively because at that point, then you're going to be cutting off the ends of words, which is awful because then you wouldn't hear an S on the end of the word. You would just hear word. You wouldn't hear words so that's one thing that we wanna make sure is that we're setting that threshold carefully. The other adjustment that we have is our depth. Now this goes anywhere from zero all the way to negative 20. Now our depth tells the gate how much it's going to attenuate when the gate is closed. So in this case, if I had this set to zero, when the gate closes, nothing's gonna happen. If we have it set to one dB, when the gate closes, it's going to attenuate that channel by one dB. If we have this set all the way down at, at 20, then when the gate closes, it's going to attenuate it by 20 decibels. The other two adjustments that we have on this is fast and peak. Fast means that this is going to be adjusting and attacking this in a very fast fashion. So the attack and the release is going to be very fast. Whereas if it is not selected, it is going to be more slow and leisurely. When we have peak, this is going to be adjusting off of peak metering rather than RMS metering. With peak metering, it's going to be off of the top of the channel, whereas RMS is going to be the average of the channel, and I'm typically going to be using RMS for my PSE. So let's actually go ahead and insert this on a channel here. I have my RF2 right here, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit home, we'll select our channel RF2, and then we have our gate right here. Now, the one thing that we want to do is we want to drop down this menu that's right here, and we will go to the source extractor. Once we have that here, we will turn it on. And so I have a set of these five channels duplicated. So on the right-hand side, I have the channels, same EQ adjustments, just no PSEs. And then on this side, we have all five of the same channels with PSEs. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those on on all of these channels.
And I'm going to unmute just this channel when this person is talking so we can dial this in. This was from a large convention that was having some panelists up on stage. They were using head mics rather than lapels, which is the best case scenario for me as if I'm mixing a corporate environment, let's get some headset microphones because that means that I'm going to have zero room noise. But you'll notice that when I unmute all five of these microphones on the unadjusted side with no, none of the PSE, that you'll actually hear a lot of room noise. Now this, it would be even more if they were using a lapel microphone because that lapel is just gonna be picking up the entire room, more of the PA, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and play this audio and we can actually start adjusting this right now. And you'll be able to translate that with your Now, with our threshold with knob, if I turn this all the way up, we'll notice that the gate is not even opening, security, which is really bad because um, she is talking time. up on stage. And, and then if we have this set very low, client or patient in your case, experience your full when she stack stops talking, security, um, the recovery and full time. It's not even going to adjust. Um, uh, benefits that you get from Barely our reliability. Barely did at the very end there. So what we want to do is we want to find a happy medium between these two that's going to be getting a good amount of attenuation when she stops talking and then picks back up immediately when she starts talking. Now for this panelist and this large room, I'm actually going to be setting this to a fast adjustment on this PSE is I want it to be adjusting really fast on the attack and the release times for this gate. So let's go ahead and play this again. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient in your case experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and full time um, uh, benefits that you get from our so reliability. So there we go. We can, know that we can hear that adjusting now. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and full time um, uh, benefits that you get from our reliability. Now, and if I change this to slow, let's listen to it. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and So it's a time. lot more leisurely, so it's a little bit less aggressive. Now, if you're mixing in a smaller room, doing a panel interview in a small room, maybe you would want to have the slow adjustment on the PSE because you're going to be hearing that adjust, that, that quick attack and release happening on that voice. But in a large room with lots of reverberation, the fast setting is going to be best because then you're going to be cutting off when she's not talking pretty quick quick, and it's actually going to still sound pretty natural in room. So let's go ahead and put this back to fast. Now, the other option that we have is our depth. So let's and go ahead and see And you'll be able to translate that, that with your client or patient. So obviously, if case, I put this to zero, full stack it's not going to do anything. But uh, if we put it all the way down to 20, this is not going to sound super natural because it's reducing it by so much. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and full time um, uh, benefits that you get from our reliability. Okay. So I would typically be setting this about anywhere from like 6 to 12 on a voice. So if you're wanting it to sound a little bit more natural, 6 dB of depth is going to be perfect. When I'm doing a panel interview like this, I'm probably going to be more in the 10 dB range. So let's go ahead and listen to that. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and full time um, uh, benefits that you get Perfect. from our relay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this microphone and I'm going to unmute all of the microphones without the PSE. So I have it enabled on all five of these microphones, as we can see. And we'll reset this to where I had my settings on it. Okay, and so on the on the right side, this is going to be my channels that don't have any adjustments other than EQ and a low cut. So let's go ahead and listen to it. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient in your so case. So even with her not talking. That, and you'll be able to translate that. With That's your a lot of background noise. In your case, experience your full stack. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and full time um, 
uh, benefits that you get from our reliability. And okay, so this next time I'm going to enable the channels that have the PSE and disable the channels that don't. So I'm just gonna swap this over. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the recovery and full time um, uh, benefits that you get. Okay, let's listen to it again. I'm gonna swap back and forth here. And you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient, Here's in your case, experience, your full stack security, um, the Here's recovery and full time um, uh, benefits that you get from our reliability. And with that, I'm gonna. So the next thing to take this even farther is to now use the auto mixer. So I have these five channels here, and I have my auto mixer enabled on all of them. So one, two, three, four, five. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable them. And now we're going to hear a very large difference in volume of the background noise in comparison from our right channels that don't have any processing rather than EQ and low cut, and our left channels that have all of the processing done to them. So at first, I'm going to let you listen to the right side again and you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient in your case experience your full stack security um, the recovery and full-time um, uh, benefits that you get and you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient in your case and you'll be able to translate that with your client or patient in your case experience your full stack security um, the recovery and full-time um, uh, benefits that you get from our relay. So this is a massive difference between these two. There's a big difference just using the PSE. There's also a big difference just using the auto mixer. But when you combine the PSE and the auto mixer together, it's almost like it's a direct communication between that one person and me. It's incredible. So I hope that you guys can use this in your churches or venues or corporate settings with the Behringer Wing. If you do happen to have any questions, feel free to post it in the comment section below. Also, if there's a video that you're hoping that I will make in the future on either the Wing or the X32 or any of the other products that are out there, feel free to comment in the section below with that request as I'm always looking through those to find videos that are gonna be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, have a great day.